Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brentford up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Coutinho plays alongside Douglas Luiz in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Vitali Janelt. And threading it forward. Now a decent position. Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be off to a flyer here. And that was a poor effort. He must hit the target. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Jan Elt. Keeping the ball moving. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Tony. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Can they convert? And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. Really getting stuck in. And look at the celebrations. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. That they look as though they want to make this move count. Coutinho. Bad pass. Mbermo. And options in the centre. Promising position, this. Could be. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. <laughs> Elects to go short. It 
He's trying to create something. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. And intercepts again. Consa. And now with Young. McGinn. And a decent delivery. And a struggle to get it away properly. Coutinho. And teammates to play it to. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily. And he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. And the contest begins. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. That's a well-struck pass. Just cutting off the supply. Tony, plenty of support here. This might be ideal for the counter. Ashley Young. Aston Villa struggling to keep the ball. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Had to come up with the ball and did. Now we're into the final half hour. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Alex Moreno. Well, they have the ball once more. He's in here. The keeper diving. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, he's also showing him the yellow card. Yeah, he had to make the challenge, but it was always going to be risky, and so it proved. An opportunity for 3 0. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Douglas Luiz. McGinn. Good work from Brentford to win the ball back. Mikael Damsgaard. Emiliano Buendia. McGinn. Now with Coutinho. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Breaking at pace. But the danger averted for now.
and continues his run a glorious chance oh good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted now the delivery last man back and job done that's high level goalkeeping well that's a fantastic save he's such a good keeper well there's the confirmation that was nowhere near to crossing the line was it Now a short corner here. Oh, great defending. It might be on for them. Can he finish this? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. And with that, the referee blows for full time. Not the outcome Villa fans were hoping for. Three points dropped. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. <laughs>